guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start a new project pan and I'm really really excited about this one. This has been in the making for quite some time already. We are in a Facebook group. <laughs> for one, it's not Instagram. It is a Facebook group. And Jessica and Amanda contacted me and asked if I wanted to be a part of this project and I said yes immediately because it was a project pan based on the I was going to see t I was going to say a TV show, but it is a movie. It is The Greatest Showman. That movie is amazing. I saw it on the way to Japan, so for a few times I needed to refresh that movie because I haven't seen it since and I I don't know why I haven't seen it since because I love it so much. I was obsessed. A few weeks after I got home from Japan and saw that movie, I heard the songs, the soundtracks so much, uh, <laughs> insane. The project starts today on September 28th and it is actually my boyfriend's birthday today and I am pre-filming this a little bit because we are having guests and uh, we have some people over our family so I'm not going to be able to film it, film it the day before or on the day. So this is a little bit before but I'm not going to use the products before the 28th. And we are doing this until March 28th of 2020. 2020. That is so weird that I'm already doing a project that is going into 2020. Um, including the roulette pan collab that is also going into 2020. It's insane. Where has 2019 gone? Where is it? It has just flown by. I, I can't... I can't keep track anymore. <laughs> so. We are going to choose some products that describes ourselves or that can be related to the movie. I did a little bit of each, so I hope you guys are game and you don't think I am stretching it too much. They are very W7 heavy, so if you are mad about that, sorry. They just fitted into the project and I wanted to work on them. Can't do anything about that. I need to use them at some point and it has, it, it's just today. It's just in this project then, um, apparently. My goal is to finish these items. I don't know if I can do it, but I really want to try to finish them all because we have so long to do it. So it's like October, November, December, January. February, March. We have six months. If I put my mind to it, I think I can do it. The first product is a blush. That is the product that I don't know if I can finish. When I Google searched The Great Showman, this picture of Zendaya, that's her real name at least, I don't know, and she's called Anne in the movie. She had this beautiful pink wig on and I was just like, that looks like candy flush. Floss. Candy floss. And that is the name of this blush. So I thought, why not just try to work on a cool toned one? I know I just put in a blush in the Roulette Pan collab, but that is a warm tone blush. This is a cool tone blush. So I thought it would work because I had two blushes to change in. I don't think I can finish this blush because it takes me more than six months to finish a blush all off. Yeah. So my goal is to hit pan on this and then I will count it as done. If I can finish the whole thing, that is great. But yeah, this is where we are starting. As you can see, there are brush strokes in it, so I have used it a few times. I quite like this brush and I think it looks nice because it is a neutral toned, cool toned pink. Can you say that? It has some shine to it. That's fine with me. So I'm pretty excited to be working on this and I think it matches perfectly. It has six grams of product or 0 0.21 ounces. I don't do the ounces, I do the grams, so it has six grams of product. The next product is the W7 Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. I know, I have been working on it for a few months now, um, on and off. So I think I have used up a lot of powder in it. It is called Classy Cameo and it is supposed to have 20 grams of product but I don't think that is unusual for a loose powder. It looks like it has a tint to it, but 
I feel like it is transparent on my skin. So let's see if it is kind of transparent on my very pale skin in the winter time. I just di I didn't think about that. Let's see. <laughs> I chose this product because it says dreamer. The people in the circus the show, you know, they have dreams about being accepted, accepted as who they are and accept themselves. Me included. <laughs> We all need or want to be accepted and we have dreams so that is my product the next product i have is the w7 sparkle slay stay stay or slay i don't know glitter shimmer primer this one right here can you help me decide if it says slay or stay so i am here at this pink mark right here so I have quite a bit to go through but I think I can do it in six months because I I can use it every single time I do my makeup and sometimes a shimmer needs some glitter glue and sometimes a glitter or more foiled eyeshadow needs some help and that is where this came in and uh, those people need help I just thought about that but I love glitter I love a glitter glue I'm obsessed so that is why I chose this yeah this is the darker shade not good <laughs> where's the marking did I not mark this then we have the W7 face fantasy matte finish foundation I just realized this is the slightly darker version than I panned in the spring in the drop tint before summer so I actually think this is going to be a little bit too dark for me in the winter time but I have some mixes, it's okay. So I will be mixing this with my The Body Shop Lightning Drops, I think they are called. So this is in the shade Sand. It looks like I'm up to here, but I actually think I'm down to here. So I will let it settle and we can mark it. And then I will show you guys for next update because it is monthly updates for this project. And then we can see my progress. Because it is getting colder, I like a more matte finish. I know oily combination girls like the matte finish in the summertime, but this is too heavy and cakey for me in the summertime. So I like it as a winter foundation or a fall spring one. So I thought this was going to be perfect. And yes, I'm going to mix this. Unfortunately, but I just have to. Yeah, I think it's going to match me now, but in a few months not really and i chose that because a uh, fantasy they all fantasize in the beginning of a different look because they are not really happy about their look um as as far as i can remember so they fantasize a lot about everything and especially that look because they don't like the way they look but that changes I'm kind of nervous about this one because it is a liquid liner. It is the W7 Thick and Thin Filled Eyeliner. This black one right here, it has a big tip but it has like an edge. Can you see that? It's getting really dark, I'm so sorry. I chose this because Thick and Thin is like all bodies and all bodies are beautiful. So I chose this one and they have different body types in the movie. Then we have this, I want to say highlighter. I have it in the category highlighter. It is the W7 Night Light. And it is supposed to be a matte highlight. I think for under your eyes and so on. But I think I'm going to use it here and maybe in the on my forehead and stuff like that. Maybe on the eyes, I don't know. It, uh, it has a more pinky tone to it. So I think it's going to match me nicely in the winter time. I'm up to here. That mark right there. And I chose this because night light and they are in a spotlight. You know, highlight, you know, it is the highlight of the evening. And they perform at in the evening. So there's lights in the street. Just go with me. I have this product. I want to finish it up. It has 10 milliliters, so it's quite a big product. Um, I need to figure out how to use this and in what way I like it. Then we have a concealer. I know. It is the W7 Hideout Full Cover Concealer. It has 9 milliliters and it is a 
dupe for the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer that I love so much. And this is, this is amazing. It has the same pump and it is kind of the same kind of pump as well. Because if you take a whole pump, it is too much. So, yeah. Um, I'm down to here. Which is exciting because I don't... I didn't know I finished up that much, but this is the lightest shade and it is matching me right now, so I want to use it. And I know I am panning the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the Graveyard Project Pan, but that's in, in a month, so I think it's fine. Oh yeah, and I chose this product because of the hideout, because in the beginning of the movie where he is going to find them, they hide from the community because they are ashamed of how they look. The people, the cast, the circus, people, you know. You know what I mean if you have seen the movie. If you're not, go see the movie. You would not, you will not regret one bit that you have seen it. It is such a good movie. And the message is nice. Three products left. I've been here for way too long, I know. I chose an eyeliner because I like eyeliner. Not that I could link it to anything, but I really, really like this eyeliner. Uh, eyeliner, lip liner. Lip liner. Lip liner. This is a lip liner that I got in the eBay set. So this is number 15. And as you can see, yes, it is a darker color. It is a dark plummy shade, but not too plum. So it is a dark red shade, which will be perfect for fall. And it is going to go well underneath the lipstick that I am panning. And the one that I'm going to show you in a bit. Oh no. <laughs> no. I chose this Gush Intense Lip Color, yeah, it has 4.5 milliliters, but I have finished off half right now. So this is the product. I am right now down to that thick line right there, so I have used about half of the product, which is, which is exciting. Oh my god. I chose this product because of the mirror that this has, because it also has a light right here. In the cap, you know, here. Um, so you can apply it on the go, which is really, really cool. So you don't have to bring a mirror. Um, that one right here. And I chose it because of the mirror, because in the beginning, the bearded lady, she sinks into a mirror when he is going to find her. I hopefully can finish this. This is the W7 Kiss and Trip Holographic Lipstick. It scares me, but I need to do it. And it kind of fit it into the product. This is the product right here. It is smaller. It is called White Hot. And it has 3.5 grams. So it's not a big lipstick at all. It is this one right here. It's not white. It is like a topper. At least in my makeup collection, it is considered a lip topper. It is right there. It is beautiful, so it's sheer, but it has a pink shift. So I think this is going to go nice on top of the lip liner by itself. Um, I don't think I can top it on the Gush Intense Lip Color because this is kind of a lip gloss. Um, so I think it can go on top of some of the other matte lipsticks that I am working on right now. So I think I can do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. I chose that one because when... Barnum and his circus thing, his show gets really, really big. He is go he is invited on stage with this Jenny Lynn, Lind, I think she's called. Are they singing together? I think they're singing together. But what I remember is that Jenny is kissing P.T. Barnum. And that results in not so good things. Something about the circus and his family. Then you can know why. Because Jenny is not his wife. Kiss. That is the kiss from Jenny. And the trip is like he loses a bunch of stuff. So he's tripping after the kiss. I hope you understand. My In my mind and in my head it works. Just go with it. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you are excited for the next month update. I hope to have some progress for you guys. And I hope to finish some of this foundation before I get too pale and before I need to wear more mixer than foundation. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and go check out the ladies they are linked down below as always jessica and amanda i love you guys and i love this project so please check them out i do know a few of the girls that we are collabing with i know jessica and amanda of course i know a few other ladies and then some are new to me so i'm really really excited to what to see what this collab uh, gets where it gets and until my next video please take care and if you're new subscribe i do a lot of perfect pants on my channel.